Okay, quality inequalities x squared less than 4. So for quality inequalities, we have to make it into general form also. x squared minus 4 less than 0. So I'm going to do using um, graph sketching method. Graph sketching method. Okay, so what you have to do here, uh, find the roots. Okay, so graph is, you draw the graph and find the root if this is equals to zero. So, mod, 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 EQN, press one, and change from unknown to degree, press two. So the value of A is 1, value of B is 0, C is negative 4, uh, you get the first one is 2, second one is negative 2. So um, the roots here will be negative 2 and the other one will be 2. Okay, so um, before our... Um, actually, the answer is like this Between negative 2 and 2 But maybe you don't understand this Okay, so uh, for first question uh, I'm going to do some experimentation So to show you why the answer is like this Okay, so and how do I know the answer is inside? Because the symbol is less than zero, the answer is between the two values. But I'm going to show you why is it like that. Okay, so what we have to do, we test. Test some value, pick a value between negative two and two. For example, the easiest will be zero, zero over here. So what you do with zero, you replace where x is okay so if x equals to 0 so x squared minus 4 will be 0 squared minus 4 will be negative 4 is negative 4 less than 0 is negative 4 less than 0 yes so the value here is correct so you can do this uh, with value 1 and negative 1 you will always get a value less than zero. Let me test another with x equals to one. So it become one squared minus four, become one minus four is negative three. Is negative three or, uh, less than zero? Yes. Okay, so any value between negative two and two, you will get zero. But then if we test a large value larger than two, and why not 2? If 2, you will definitely get 0. Okay? If 2, you will definitely get 0. So, 2 squared minus 4 become 0. So, is 0 less than 0? No. Okay? So, 2 is not included. That is why the symbol is more than negative 2 and less than 2. Then we have to test again what a value a, la a value larger than 2, for example, 3. So if we test with 3, we say 3 squared minus 4 will be 9 minus 4 equals to 5. So is 5 less than 0? No. Similarly, we test with negative, uh, negative 3. If I were to test with negative 3, x equals negative 3 become negative 3 squared minus 4 become 9 minus 4 still 5 is 5 less than 0 no okay so for this first question uh, what we have discovered is that um, the value will always be between negative 2 and 2 between the two value if the symbol is less on the condition that the value of A is positive. Change the order A to positive. 
So if less, it become inside. So uh, before I end, so what happen if we have x squared minus four larger than zero? So the working will always be the same. You get here x, right? So here it's still negative two and two. So as the experiment show, the value of three will be right. Yes, will be yes. Negative uh, three will be yes. You substitute with zero, no. So now it is outside. Okay. So on the condition a is positive and uh, larger will be always outside. So this case we say x less than negative two. X larger than two. Less than this value and larger than that value. Okay.